Hello, Kumpo fans. Jotaro speaking. This is a question for the masses. Now, it has been quite a long time since my last question that I did a little bit, a little over a year ago, which was um, the what kind of finish do you get, or do you prefer on your kits? And I got an overwhelming response. I was able to find out about new Gumpa or modelers around the around the YouTube community, and I actually subscribed to a few of them. So I want to try this again. But the reason I haven't been doing this so often is because I didn't want to put any pressure on myself or on you guys, and I didn't want to repeat any questions that everyone else has done already. So I. After some time, I thought of this question, I thought about some more, trying to see how to word it, and I think I finally got it. So, the question is, has there ever been a model that you model, resin conversion, resin full kit, whatever, any model kit that you held off on buying or painting or building because you didn't think you, you would do it justice? Um, my particular model is actually one model that I bought about two years ago? No, a year ago. Um, a little bit more than a year ago. And th this model is one that I, I really like its predecessor. I actually like it more more than the one I'm, I'm talking about. But So I really like the predecessor, but it didn't get a master grade. It only got a no grade. And then uh, we got the upgrade which got upgraded to a, to a master grade. And that, of course, is the master grade Infinite Justice. Oh, oh, can't tap that over there. Um, this model kit, um, I held off on building it mainly because I couldn't find a color that I was satisfied with. And without an air airbrush and not being able to hand paint, I decided to hunt around until I find it. I found the the color I wanted, which was watermelon by Rustoleum. Um, so, after I found out the color and I found the right shade for the inner frame, I decided to, you know, do you know, go try my hardest with this project for the next um, for the Otacon 2000, 2011 uh, uh, Gund Gundam model building competition. I forgot the actual name. But I am very satisfied with the way it came out. I there are some errors. There, there's one major error that um, if you see, you'll see its leg flopping about. That I'll, I'll talk about when I start reviewing it or when I do my review on it. But um, I learned a lot from it. I got a lot of positive comments and, a lot, and some ne negative comments during the competition. But now I know how to improve. So. Again, the question is, has there ever been a model kit that you held off on buying or building because you didn't think you could do it justice? Um, I really look forward to any responses. Video responses are extremely appreciated because I feel they're more natural. You can see, that way you can show me your finished product or the thing you want to build next. Um, but a written comment is appreciated also. I do hope to get a couple responses from some from uh, some of the higher ups, but please try and spread spread this around because you know this will show us what kind of modeler you are. I I can tell that I'm more cautious in that I didn't build it instead of jumping the gun, as I did with the Cerave 3G. So with that, keep on building, my friends. Oh, and stay tuned for my next my next unboxing. And with that, keep building, my friends.